horses are coming onto the track for race 10 at DuCoin. Win, play, show, exact, a trifecta wagering. This for Pacers, non-winners of two paramutual races or $5,000 lifetime. John David Finn drives the five, rushing Bob. A reminder that number six, Miss Groovy 2, is scratched sick. Post time is six minutes away on this trifecta race. Let's meet the starters for race 10. Number one, Cold Hearted Revenge, owned by Bob Waxman of Hamilton, Ontario, trained by Irv Miller, the driver, Andy Miller. Number two, Golden Trainer, owned by Sam and Shirley Glossop of Ardmore, Alabama, trained by Sam Glossop. He's in the bike. Number three, Cooper Smith, is owned by Iris Horowitz of Brooklyn, New York, by Sharon Halford of Riverton, Illinois, trained by Steve Halford. Stephen Halford II is the driver. Number four, Seton Hall, is owned by J.B. Leonardis of Kendall Park, New Jersey, and Daniel Plouffe Farms Incorporated, trained by Bill Aggers, Ron Marsh, is in the bike. Five is Rushing Bob, owned by J uh, John Whitaker Sr., by Beth and David Mulvey, and Fran Whitaker, all of Newton, trained by Randall Finn. The driver is J.D. Finn. Scratch the six, Miss Groovy two, is scratched. The seven will be Max Jess P. Punch, owned and trained by Doyen Barrett of Princeton, Indiana. The driver is West Salem's Pat Malloy, Jr., Number eight, Big Underdog, is owned by Brian Lohman of Villa Grove, by Brian Kaiser of Champaign, trained by Rick Schrock, Dave McGee in the bike. And number nine will be Redstone Ruckus, owned by Benita Simmons of Springfield, by Carl Lacey of Dorsey, Illinois, trained and driven by Springfield's Tom Simmons. This trifecta race will be at the post in five minutes. They are off and pacing. There goes Redstone Ruckus from the far outside. Big Underdog is also showing early speed, and Cold Hearted Revenge is right there, benefiting from a ground-saving trip around the first turn. Cold Hearted Revenge has the league. Big Underdog is parked in second. Seton Hall moves up to close the gap in third as they race toward the quarter-mile mark. Redstone Ruckus is parked fourth. Golden Trainer goes fifth. Cooper Smith is sixth. Rushing Bob is seventh. And Max Jess P-Punch is eighth and last. Everyone now single file, 27 and three for the opening quarter. Cold Hearted Revenge leads at a length and a half. Big Underdog is second by nearly three lengths. Back to Seton Hall in third. Redstone Ruckus is fourth. Ben Golden Trainer. Cooper Smith rushing Bob. Max Jess P-Punch is at the back. They approach the halfway point with Cold Hearted Revenge, the two-year-old Arts Conquest Colt on top by a length. Big Underdog goes second. Seton Hall is third. Redstone Ruckus to the outside fourth. Cooper Smith moves up with cover behind him. They got the half in 58 and one. Cold Hearted Revenge leads it by a length and a half into the far turn. Redstone Ruckus on the outside gets ahead in front for the second spot. And then comes Big Underdog, who now regains second as Redstone Ruckus has broken stride on the final turn. Cooper Smith is third by a neck. He's three lengths off the lead, followed by Seton Hall rushing Bob and Golden Trainer. And they're at the three quarters. Cold Hearted Revenge still leads it by two lengths. Big Underdog second, flanked by Cooper Smith in third, three quarters and 127 and two. It is Cold Hearted Revenge with a two length lead. Big Underdog goes second. Cooper Smith is third. Seton Hall is fourth. And Max Jess P. Punch up on the outside, a distant fifth. Inside the eighth pole, Cold Hearted Revenge leads it by three lengths now. And then Seton Hall moves up to challenge for second on the outside of Big Underdog. But it's going to be Cold Hearted Revenge to win it. Cold Hearted Revenge by three lengths. It was Seton Hall finishing in second. Big Underdog was third in 154 and four. Irvin and Andy Miller have just teamed up for win number five on the night. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a hand for number one, Cold Hearted Revenge, for race 10? This two-year-old Colt is from the first crop by Arts Conquest, bred by Rod and Rita Williams of North Henderson, Illinois, up in Mercer County. At the upcoming Cottonwood Farm yearling sale on Sunday, September 7th, hip number 51, Aces Come Again will be a coal muffler half-brother to cold-hearted revenge. This colt, by the way, is out of a New York sire stakes placed half-sister to the dam of millionaire Island Fantasy. Result is official, one for exact of $49.80. We'll have the trifecta for you in a moment. One, four, eight, three, the official result of DuCoin's 10th race. 